these three use cases. That's file sharing, mobile payment, and the NFC smart poster. And here we have an example of NFC smart poster that we can can see uh, touch the, the, the NFC phone to, to get the latest uh, trailer on this movie. Another important thing to, to know, to understand the, the presentation, is what is uh, NDEF. That NDEF means NFC Data Exchange Format. From the, the, the specs, we, we see that the NDEF is a lightweight binary message format that can be used to encapsulate one or more application defined payloads of arbitrary type and size into a uh, a single message construct. Each payload described by a type, a length, and an optional identifier. Uh, so, in depth, it's a message format. It's uh, it's not a connection and, and not provide the uh, concept of logical circuit. That is just the the message. Uh, the final way to, to pass message in NFC. And we can exchange the, the NDEF using either uh, any NFC tag read write or peer to peer. Okay, so um, when I say I'm working on uh, Linux NFC, people are usual answer is uh, uh, my Nexus S already does N NFC, so uh, Linux supports NFC. But uh, I want to talk about the current NFC support uh, for Linux right now, and uh, well, the major uh, NFC support that we can see, or many of us can see, is uh, the Android support, and. Um, so how does Android does NFC? Uh, Android has this huge uh, lib NFC NXP library, which is a library implemented by NXP, supported by NXP and Google, I think. Um, it's uh, 7,000 lines of code. It lives entirely in user space, so basically the library builds the, f the, 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 the NFC frame, uh, encapsulate the NDEFs, so if you want to share a, a contact, uh, you basically gives the, the, the your, your contact data to, to, the, to the library, builds an NDEF, builds the frame, adds all sort of transport uh, protocol around it, and finally give it to, give it, gives it to um, one specific driver, um, which is currently in the kernel, unfortunately. Um, and the driver basically takes the frame and pushes it to the I2C bus. So everything is done in user space. It only supports one specific uh, hardware subset, which is the NXP one. Uh, it only supports HCI. I, I will talk about HCI later, but this is a subset of uh, NFC devices. It has no community support. It's exclusively, exclusively maintained by Google and NXP. And um, well, it's feature rich, definitely. It, it supports most of the NFC features and does payment, all sort of stuff. Um, so you don't have any mailing list. Uh, the code is there. It's Apache 2 licensed, but you just, it, have, there's no community around that. There is another stack, another NFC stack, which is called Open NFC, uh, provided by uh, Inside Secure, which is a French company. Um, it's probably similar to the, um, the NXP stack in the sense that it does everything into user space build the whole frame in user space and then sends that to a dumb driver who basically talks to the to the hardware bus. It's bigger. Um, it's also really rich in terms of features. Um, it's also st strongly tied to the hardware Inside Secure is trying to sell, um, which is Inside Secure hardware uh, micro read, it's called. Um, so basically those two stacks are completely tied to uh, one specific hardware. So if you want to do NFC on Android, 
well, you have no choice but buying NXP chipset because there's no other support and the stack doesn't support anything else. So, yeah, your uh, bill of material is fixed for the NFC chapter. Um, yeah, about the open NFC, there is no community, no mailing list. Uh, the source code is released from time to time on SourceForge, so you get tarballs, huge ones. Um, they recently released what they called a Linux generic stack, which is still the same thing, but a bit less tied to Android. But uh, yeah, the community aspect of this stack is even worse than the, than the Android one. And finally, there's another stack. Um, well, it's not really a stack. It, it, it's a library um, also maintained and, and sponsored by a, by a company, again, a French company. Um, it's, uh, it supports a, a bit more uh, hardware. Um, it doesn't support the Android one. It doesn't support the, uh, uh, the inside secure one. So the intersection uh, for hardware support is null. Um, it's a bit more open, so you have forums, uh, Nesvian uh, repository, it's documented. It's actually quite useful. Uh, a lot of code there is, is actually quite useful. I learned a lot from, from these guys. Uh, it's a work in progress, some features are missing. Um, and it's less complete than, than the other stack. And again, it's, it's just a simple library. Again, building the whole frame user space, no drivers related to that and so on. So what's missing from all those stacks? Uh, the first thing that's missing, I think, is uh, vendor neutrality. So Android stack is an XP stack. So you have to use an XP hardware. Inside, yeah? We, people can hear I, I know, but I'm, I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm, I, it's not, I don't think it's open source. I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about that. No. Um, it's one of those solutions, basically. Uh, so what's missing from this stack is vendor neutrality. So as I said, the Android stack is uh, basically an XP stack. Uh, they claim that you can add more hardware support to it, but when you look at the code, it's actually really tied to, to um, the NXP chipset. Uh, there's no hardware independent support, so a lot of code in both stacks are tied to the hardware. So if you want to, if you want to, if you really want to support a new hardware on, with these stacks, you, it, it's a lot of work. There's no open development process, so we don't know what's coming from them. Uh, no one is contributing. You can, you cannot ask any question. You won't get any answer, obviously, and so on. Um, Another important problem with those stacks is that they're all in user space. So there's no proper kernel user space split. And as such, there's no proper POSIX API. So if you want to talk to those stacks, if you want to build an application that does NFC, you have to use either Android API or uh, Inside Secure API, which are J Java APIs or, well, uh, not POSIX, definitely. So you cannot open a socket, send, connect, accept, bind, and so on. Laura is now going to talk about what we propose instead of that, which is the new NFC subsystem. Okay. So th this is the basic architecture of the NFC subsystem. The, basically, we have a, a control command handler that we receive the control commands through generic netlink. And also, we have you use sockets for the raw data exchange. Uh, in raw data, we can send, for example, commands to read a tag or, or to write a tag. And also, we have an LLCP handler and uh, LLCP sockets. LLCP, we will talk later, is as it's peer to peer. Uh, we are talking about a more uh, high level socket, more like the, the TCP. And also, we have the core that handles all the, 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 the other parts, registering the, the device drivers and uh, producing the, the communication between the, the, all, the, all the other parts. So the, the main points are 
it's hardware independent uh, to support a, a new hardware you just need to write a new device driver as any other device on Linux in Linux uh, we have a POSIX API we have as I said generic netlink for control commands and sockets for data exchange here we have the the list of the control commands just to 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 get an idea how it works so we have uh, a command to to get the the adapt the device to get the adapters the nfc adapters that are pre present in in the the system we can get a list of adapter with, with that command we also have two events to to know if later one adapter is added or, or removed and then we have the main the, the, the main use case that the start pool and start pool with the start pool we can uh, start looking for targets or waiting for being activated by a, a external uh, device so in the start pool, we can uh, choose, for example, which which kind of protocols, NFC protocols, we want to 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 look for device. We want to use to look for device, for example, MyFair or Felica or other protocol. And then, when when uh, a target is found, we have this event that's uh, target found. And we have also a command to get the information about this target that, that was found. And then, uh, after this, we start using the whole socket to communicate with this target. The generic net links just for the control commands. When we start communicating, we use sockets. Also, in target mode, we have uh, two events. Uh, that when when your adapt was is activated or deactivated in in target mode, and the sockets we have basically three three kinds of sockets. We have the initiator mode socket that uh, the connect selects and activate a target. We can use the write to send comments to the target and the reach to receive the response. We have also the target mode socket uh, that we use the, the bind to, to bind to the, the NFC adapter. Uh, the accept to wait for being activated by an initiator. It's when we receive that event uh, device activated, also the accept uh, returns and and then you can start reading the the comments from the initiator and use the the right to answer this these comments also we will have the lsp socket that as i said it's much higher higher layer so it's very similar to to tcp socket the server mode and, and client mode sockets so the current status, uh, we have the reader mode supported. The card emulation, uh, it's wo a work in progress. We have also one device driver that's for the, the PN533. We have all the HCI support that's host control interface. It's a uh, work in progress, maybe. Uh, Somewhere can give more deta details, and we have also uh, we received some NCI patches. That NCI it's NFC controller interface. Uh, actually, they they was accepted, and now they are are part of the, the NFC subsystem. They were contributed by Ilan Elias from TI. And the, the HCI uh, and the NCI support means that we 
would support NXP and TI hardware. So the HCI it's, is more used by the, the NXP hardware and the, it seems that the NCI will be used by TI hardware. Okay. Okay, so now that we know the current status and I'm going to talk about the future and what we plan to implement next for uh, the NFC subsystem. So I'll talk about uh, HCI and NCI. I'm just going to give you some more detail about that. HCI is, uh, is basically defined by uh, the uh, ETSI. And um, it's, it's an old uh, spec, uh, mostly defined to help the smart card integration with the, with the NFC to do the payment parts. Um, it's, it's a fairly abstract specification and it doesn't define actually all the NFC use cases. So when you look at the HCI uh, chipset uh, specification, they all support uh, the HCI specification as itself, but they have a lot of vendor specific extensions. It's actually a lot more vendor specific extension than the actual specification itself. So <clears throat> HCI is not, uh, well, NXP chipset, inside secure chipset, they're all HCI devices, but this is basically the old specification, and we hope that it's going to be replaced by NCI in, in the future. Um, NCI is basically the, the NSC forum answer to HCI. And um, it's currently a draft. It's much more generic and much more um, extended, so it really defines uh, the whole ranges, range of NFC use cases. Um, sorry, maybe I should have mentioned that, but HCI and NCI is our uh, control interfaces between the, the actual chipset and the host. So it defines how um, your CPU will talk with your NFC target, uh, NFC chipset. So we're planning to add um, HCI and NCI support. NCI is actually already there. Uh, this slide is a bit outdated. Uh, NCI is there, and uh, we even received an, an update for a, a new NCI drafts from uh, Texas Instrument. So if your uh, chipset is based on NCI, then it will be supported by uh, the 3.1 kernel. And HCI is a work in progress. It, yeah, it's, it's pretty tricky as with a, this huge amount of vendor specific extensions. So this is how uh, we plan to in integrate the uh, HCI and NCI layer. Um, so in the generic case where uh, your driver actually doesn't support any of this um, uh, specification, you talk directly with the uh, NFC core, and if you're an HCI layer, your uh, your HCI based driver will uh, talk to the HCI layer, register some um, uh, NFC specific uh, operations for starting a poll, activating a target, uh, reading, writing, this kind of stuff. Same thing for uh, the NCI layer, and then those two layers will present your driver as a generic HCI uh, or NCI driver. It's it's a fairly typical architecture. I think the Bluetooth. HCI layer is, is quite similar. Uh, next, also, we're, um, so Laura and his team are working on the card emulation mode. Um, as you explained, the card emulation mode is basically your device uh, pretending to be an NFC tag. So that's what we call target mode or card emulation mode. And your device sits there and wait for uh, another device to activate it and start sending command, actually receiving command. So it's basically, uh, you could see it as, a, as servo mode for uh, NFC. Um, so the card emulation mode, as Lauro described, is gonna be uh, completely POSIX. So you would basically implement your application with POSIX API. You bind to your NFC adapter, uh, uh, accept, receive, anything, just the regular POSIX API. We'll have one um, uh, socket address structure for both mode, card emulation mode and target mode. Target mode, uh, sorry, initiative mode. Initiative mode is the, the opposite of card emulation mode. So basically your device and you're talking to an NFC tag. Um, we add uh, the, the modification we, we, are, we need to do for card emulation mode is um, uh, we need to add the card emulation mode to the polling loop. The polling loop is basically your device uh, scanning for various frequencies and trying to detect tag when it's in uh, uh, initiator mode 
and then when it's in uh, uh, card emulation mode, it just sits there and wait for receiving a radio frequency from uh, uh, a radio signal from uh, from uh, the initiator that's on the other side. Uh, we also uh, can tell the, uh, the device which uh, RF technology we want to pull. So if we want, if we pretend we're uh, I don't know uh, uh, a Felica card, then we only wait for a certain uh, RF technology. And as I said, uh, it's going to be just your typical networking API. Uh, LLCP is also a work in progress. We're making actually good progress on this one. Um, LLCP is something that something that sits on top of the uh, of the row uh, NFC sockets, and you could see that as uh, a TCP for. Uh, uh, for uh, NFC, uh, NFC is a half duplex uh, uh, system, and but LC, LLCP makes it look like a, a, a symmetrical one. Um, on top of LLCP, you can multiplex various protocol, OBEX, IP, any other things. Um, as TCP, it has uh, well, TCP UDP, uh, it, so it has connectionless and connection-oriented data transport. And we're going to define a new NFC socket protocol for this one. So if you want to talk directly to um, um, NFC tags, you would use the row sockets. If you want to do LLCP, which is actually uh, NFC peer-to-peer, -peer, you would just open uh, an, an NFC LLCP socket. And then if you want to connect or uh, receive packets from the other side, from the other device, then you would just use the, the regular networking API. So LLCP is just um, a link control protocol. On top of that, you need to actually uh, do some data transfer. And the NFC forum defines uh, the SNAP, single NDEF exchange protocol. So you can use LLCP and uh, encapsulate some sort of additional protocol on it to exchange uh, your NDEF. NDEF being the, uh, the format for NFC to transfer data. <clears throat> um, SNAP is defined by the NFC forum. Uh, it's been released as a spec a few weeks ago. So Google didn't want to wait for that and added their own protocol on, on top of the of LCP. It's called Google Push Protocol. Uh, it's a lot simpler than uh, SNAP. Uh, the spec is actually two pages. So it's really simple. It's actually neat. It seems to work fine. Um, what what I want to say about LLCP is that it's probably the future of, uh, of NFC. Um, uh, what we're trying to do with card emulation mode or initiator mode is uh, dragging a lot of legacy from the RFID world. Um, whenever you want to read an NFC tag just to get an NDEF, just to get an SMS or, or a contact from, from your tag, um, you're bound to a lot of uh, manufacturer-specific commands and every uh, tag has its own command. So you have four different NFC tags, and each of them comes with their different set of command defined by specific manufacturer. So MyFair cards is NXP. You have Felica card, which is Sony. You have uh, dual tags, which are um, uh, Broadcom. Yeah, that's Broadcom. So yeah, when you try to read an NFC tag right now, uh, it's, it's a lot of code. It's a lot of different commands, and of course, from one tag to another, you have different kind of implementation, and it's it's really difficult to read all tags correctly. So the LLCP actually allows you to remove all that stuff and exchange NDEF on top of a protocol that is completely manufacturer uh, independent. So you get all the NFC advantages without caring about what the manufacturer wanted to do with his tag. And last thing, um, so on top of LLCP, you can do IP bindings. Um, we still need to find a use case for that, a valid one. Uh, but you can also do OBEX, which is much more useful. So those, all, those, all this stuff was for the, the kernel part. Um, we're also going to open source uh, a user space daemon, uh, hopefully next week, if Marcel wakes up. <laughs> um, so the user space daemon will uh, implement the, the rest of the NFC stack, um, you will get all sort of NFC events and properties exported through a, a Dbus, uh, through Dbus actually. Uh, it's going to be quite similar to what Bluezy does right now. Um, so you would have adapter, targets, tag objects, 
uh, you we're going to support we currently support uh, all NFC tags in reader mode so with this daemon uh, if you see it there on the on the dbus uh, you can re you, you you know if a new tag appears which kind of tag it is and uh, you know all the NDFs that are there um, uh, that's what's currently supported we're going to have the emulation support right uh, soon and the LLCP and SNAP um, even sooner I hope uh, and as I said, it should be open source by next week. So this is what it's going to look like, um, I think. Yeah. So the NFC daemon, uh, when you want to read an NFC tag, you're going to talk to raw sockets directly to send the manufacturer specific commands. And for each tag, you have different commands. And if you want to do uh, peer to peer, and uh, read or write some NDEF to the other side, uh, you're going to use the SNAP, which is going to talk to the LLCP sockets. So LLCP, again, is peer-to-peer. -peer. And for uh, controlling the, uh, the NFC adapter, then you, we're going to use the NFC netlink that Laura described to, for example, uh, start the poll, the poll loop, stop it, um, get events when an adapter is added, removed, when, it, when tag or device appears, and so on. And finally, um, this is a much longer uh, term project. It's probably even out of, scope, out of scope of what we're doing right now. But um, lots of people uh, link NFC with uh, payment. And uh, the NFC payments are done through secure elements. Um, it's a complex matter. But basically, uh, from our point of view, not much need to be done. Uh, secure payment through NFC. Um, it's done basically by the secure element itself, running uh, some weird OS on a smart card. Uh, the OS, the smart card takes control of the NFC device and talks to the other device to do the transaction. And the only thing you get from, from the kernel is uh, some events, uh, or some events to let you know that the transaction is done, or has failed, uh, and so on. But from our point of view, um, what we need to do, I think, and again, this is a, complicate, a complex matter. Um, we need to be able to, uh, to enable, to, to tell the device, the NFC device to put itself in, uh, in basically transaction mode. So that means talking to the, to the smart card and enabling the secure element, and then the device is on its own. You have an application running on the OS that should be able to send some, some uh, non-encrypted APDUs to the device to initialize the device and tell the device which secure element it, it wants to use. So if you have a you visa application, you want to do a visa transaction, uh, visa has some specific protocol with some specific APDUs that you want to send to the, to the device to initialize the right secure element. And once that's done, the transaction, well, goes by itself. And at the end of the transaction, you just get notification from the SIM or from HCI, depending on your, on your device. But from a Linux point of view, this is actually not a lot of work, or so we hope. And I think that's it. If you have any questions, or if you want to talk with us, we are on Freenode on Linux NFC. And if you uh, have some questions, we're using uh, the Linux wireless mailing list, which I think is linux wireless at vigor.kernel.org. And uh, our emails are here. so. Feel free to get in touch with us. And now we are open for questions. Uh, no, we're not. They're, they, it's open. What we're doing is open. It's known, and it's it's now in the official kernel. So they probably know about it. Uh, we got in touch with some vendors that basically the vendors right now are mostly interested in Android. But if you want to do uh, NFC with your uh, uh, Red Hat, Fedora, Debian, desktop, laptop, or whatever, you just can't. There's no solution for that. And this is what we're trying to fix. For Android, they're on their own. If one, uh, I don't think they want to change anything. It's working fine with them. So. Uh, 
Uh, yes, you can use the. Um, uh, we su we support all the N NCI uh, chipsets, so that's a really embedded chipset. So uh, if you want a board for that, you need to talk with uh, Texas Instrument. As far as I know, the only manufacturer that has um, a commercialized uh, product based on NCI is, is Texas Instrument. But if you wanted to uh, use our system uh, from your desktop, you can uh, buy a 20 euros dongle based on the um, NX, uh, PN533. So it's mentioned somewhere. Right, Laro? Yeah, here. The NXP PN533, which is really popular if you buy the, the small NFC dongles. Most of them are actually based on this, on this uh, chipset. And you can just plug it in your uh, in your uh, laptop or desktop, and you can use our own stack, uh, the the whole stack to right now read NFC tags. But if you want, uh, yeah, if you want to use the, uh, the the Android chipset, for example, you'll have to wait for us to implement or send us patches to implement the uh, HCI support. Some more questions. Okay. Thank you.